Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the white walls of Stuff with T. Ravis corporate offices, where a certain PowerPoint has been brought to my and the Book Off News crew's attention. This PowerPoint, submitted anonymously by a fan, details certain rumors, questions, and suggestions these fans or fan may have. Now, today, I will be diving into these allegations and discussing them further, starting with Mr. Haas. So, while it is true that Hayden Hardenese Haas has notably not been in Bukoff news very often, I think we can all agree that the few roles he has had, such as in Bukoff PD3, have been absolutely stellar. However, due to budgetary constraints, and scheduling conflicts and his agent declining certain roles, he has not been able to be featured more often. While this is sad, we'll work on it in the future to see if we can't get him in book off news more. But for now, we move on to David. So as you can see here, David has been cited as being tall and rollless. Both of these rumors, I can confirm, are true. He has hosted segments such as Sleep Talk with Adam, David tells jokes, um, some plant thing. More recently, he has tried to predict the next president of Trine University. And lately, he has been filling the role of Secretary Dirt Dirt, where he holds weekly press conferences on certain happenings and rumors in the Bukoff News community and at larger around Trine University's campus. This will be his role moving forward, most likely until his termination. And that leads us on to the next slide and person in question, Mr. President Caruthers. So just as with Mr. Haas, these fans obviously would like to see more President Cruz or at least expected him to be on Book Off News more often. Now I can claim that this is probably true. He should be on there more. He's an important figure. He's funny. He's charming. He's handsome. But the problem is, we had to pay him such a large lump sum of cookies to be in Book Off PD3 and due to his many scheduling conflicts that it's just really not possible to have him on Book Off News more often. So we now move on to T. Rabbits. So as you can see, it is stated that these fans are unsure of what T. Rabbits' segment are, if he's the creator or if he just does ads. I can confirm he is the creator of Book Off News and the sole editor. And he also owns the rights to censor any certain words or phrases brought on by other crew members. I'll tell you why. Number one. He also spends his free time filling the ad space for Book Off News and wishes that someone would take over and put in real ads that would bring in real revenue. Cha -ching. But until then, he will hold down this said role in creatorship. And so now we move on to Parker. A new segment name is what is being asked for here with getting educated with Parker. While we will take this into consideration, our fans should know that we are fairly attached to the name getting educated with Parker and believe that it perfectly describes his section. Now on to the claim that these fans have learned more from Parker than four years here at Trine University. I didn't know that. I can confirm this is also personally true for us at Book Off News. And I mean, he's a man of the people. He stays on the grind. He keeps you educated. What more could you want? On that, we move on to quote of the week. So it's been stated, as you can clearly tell from this slide that we love Quote of the Week, and we here at Book Off News can confirm we also love Quote of the Week. Not much more I can say about that. That may be a Quote of the Week at some point. Quote of the Week. And we're moving on. We have Blaine and Calf News. Notably, it is Calf Drama, but I'll let this slide for this time being. Um, I think Blaine will be very satisfied to know that all his hard work and all his hard informants work to bring the Calf Drama and news to you is much appreciated. However, when it comes to omelets, the news is going to continue indefinitely, mainly because Blaine and mainly my obsession with omelets. 
And also Olga is just awesome slinging omelets. So sorry that you've had enough of omelets, but the news will continue. And now we continue on to Mr. Rody. Who brings the business and sports news segments of our newspaper? As these fans clearly stated, it's good to keep up with the business world. And also, it's Rody, so clearly it's a 10 out of 10 segment. Now, they did have a little disclaimer that non-engineering new of the week should be non-engineering news of the week. While this is grammatically correct, we here at Bukov News have recognized the mistake very early on that was made in week two or three, but we have chosen to stick with said spelling error slash mistake because we feel like it is very on brand for us. And lastly, all I have to say in the wise words of Mr. Blaine Byam and these slides. Take it easy.